Why do Russian jets look so much bigger than the American ones? If you've ever seen an American jet like the F-35 parked next to a Russian Su-27 at a defense expo, you'll notice something instantly. Russian jets look huge. But this isn't a styling choice. It's engineering shaped by doctrine, geography, and the Soviet military machine. The Su-57 stretches roughly 19.7 to 20.1 meters in length with a wide 14-meter wingspan and a height of about 4.8 meters, giving it a long, sleek, high-volume airframe designed for power and range. The F-35A, by comparison, is far more compact at 15.7 meters long, 10.7 meters across, and around 4.4 meters tall, a smaller footprint that supports stealth, tighter shaping, and easier deployment. In simple terms, the Su-57 is the bigger, broader machine, while the F-35 is the smaller, denser, stealth-optimized predator. American fighters were designed to operate inside a massive support ecosystem, tankers in the sky, AWACS overhead, satellite links, and global bases. That meant U.S. jets didn't need enormous enormous internal fuel reserves. A compact, efficient platform like the F-16 worked perfectly within this network. Russia never had that luxury. Their jets had to patrol huge borders, fly long intercept missions, and operate with limited support. So they needed range, and range needs fuel. A Su-27 carries nearly 9,400 kilograms of internal fuel. That's almost double what an F-16 carries. And if you're carrying more fuel, the jet gets bigger. Next comes engine philosophy. U.S. engines like the F-100 are incredibly compact thanks to advanced materials and ultra-tight manufacturing tolerances. Soviet engines were designed differently. Larger, lower pressure ratio turbines that were rugged, simpler to maintain, and more tolerant of debris from rough runways. Bigger engines need a bigger fuselage. The size grows again. Then comes radar and avionics. Russian fighters often carried large radar sets to detect threats far across their vast airspace. The Su-27's N-001 radar needed a wide nose cone to house its antenna. American fighters optimized for multi-role missions used more compact modular avionics, allowing smaller airframes. Aerodynamics also play a role. Russian designers loved high-altitude performance and raw maneuverability. Large lifting bodies, massive control surfaces, broad blended wings. American designers, especially post-1980s, shifted towards stealth, compact geometry, and internal weapon bays, naturally favoring smaller shapes. 